Hey guys, what's up? This is Speedy Dave 10 here with a Dirt Lake Model CFD analysis. Uh, I'm going to be doing a multi video series on CFD analysis on these Lake Models. So if you want to check all these out, you need to subscribe to my channel, give us a like, and uh, if there's something you would like me to run an analysis on, please feel free to leave a comment below. So, all right, well, let's get started. So here we have our lake model, pretty simple. Uh, I excluded the roll cage and roof because that's gonna be another video. We're gonna talk about roof angles and stuff like that in some other videos. But uh, one thing I wanna talk about today is the turbulence behind the driver's head. And remember when you're looking at this, red is high pressure, blue is low pressure. I have everything on pressure point data. So it should be good. Check my scaling, yep, scaling is good from 800 to negative 1200 all right so let's uh let's get started and as you can see here here's our light model uh, a nice high pressure area in the front going over and then a little bit of blue here as it ramps slightly over the uh, hood see that right there driver's head the dash cluster cover and our rear spoiler So, let's uh, get lined up here. All right, let's throw a stream tracer on it. Like I said, keep an eye on this area right in here. All right, as you can see, as the air ramps up over the car, pressure rises here, all through here. But as it hits the driver's head, it becomes turbulent and actually create some vortices that ramp it off the side of the deck. Now there is some natural flow off the side of the deck just by the way the rear deck is ramped up. And as pressure increases, that air wants to try to escape. So let's look a little bit closer here. Great view here. You can see it actually kind of, that vortice that's being created directs it off that high energized air is being directed away from the spoiler. So that is very undesirable. It's something we do not want. Nice vortice coming up off the uh, in play of the spoiler. Very nice. So let's uh, let's keep moving along here. Let's do some more, more views. Let's bring it over just a little bit. Right, apply that. All right, going slightly left, just a little bit left of center. You can still see how it's being pulled away right here, uh, which was more than I anticipated originally. You can see this turbulent air being directed away from the spoiler, hence the light area here. And you can see it right here as it tries to equalize the upper part. And this spoiler, or not spoiler, but dash compartment area actually helps with that. Actually helps get some of that air over the driver's head. Now, if that was a little lower, you'd be definitely seeing a lot more turbulence. All right, so let's, uh, let's do some more angles here. Let's check some more stuff out. Let's go to the other side of the car. Let you see how uh, the flow is on the other side. Oh, too far. There we go. All right. So you can see here, nice, smooth, attached flow. No separation. And you can see here, full contact, nice downforce. Our spoiler is at 70 degrees. Uh, this lay model is accurate, 101 inch wheelbase, 39 inch deck height, and uh, 86 in the middle of the door, if I remember correctly. It does taper uh, on the sides. There is some flare going on. So, 
But anyway, you can see this right here. All right, now let's do a let's do a flat view. negative there all right so here you go you can see this right here you can see the air ramping up over let me straighten up my view here too far love look at these vortices coming off the end plates huge vortices all right so you can see right here very well how this air is being directed away from our spooler now obviously a cell panel would aid in that closed window cell panel but you would lose some side force over here and this is not at any y'all this is just straight on i'm gonna do some y'all testing along you know with some other stuff later in the videos but you can definitely see here the direction of the air as it's being directed away from the car now let's bring this up a little bit let's go point four point four apply that this will bring our stream up a little bit higher as you can see that trend is kind of continue even comes all the way almost to the middle of the deck the, the turbulent air it comes all the way over here Look at these big vortices, huge vortices coming off this car. These things generate a lot of downforce. And once again, you can see this air, this low pressure on the end plate, and even a little bit on the uh, quarter panel, which on this side is not that bad. You can actually want a little bit of a low pressure right here. It helps increase that side force. So let's go around the other side. see that vortice right there it's a good angle on that vortice all right let me uh take this away like you can see our airflow spoiler side spoiler side all right let's bring that up a little more There we go. All right, so that's let's see about how high that is. All right, so that's almost to the top of the deck. A lot of, a lot of high pressure air going on right there. And you can see this flow has kind of smoothed out at that high altitude. Still a little bit. You can still see a little bit of variation right here but it's minute very minute all right you can still see a little bit of a wave here and it's like it converges the upper part tries to converge back just a little bit meanwhile the lower part tries to exit out right, let's go back down to that lower part two to our tracer plane. Yep, here's a great angle. You can see the air, this stream in particular, all the way over to here, just being directed away from it. And you can see these gaps. You can see the color difference right here versus this side on these this, this is a lower pressure area versus this side. Even though it's a straight on shot, that's just cause 
of the air, turbulent air right here, losing surface pressure. And you can even see a little bit, let me zoom back in on that. You can even see a little bit on our end plates. Very dark red, very light red. Now there's a little bit of air and meshing quality in my CFD simulation. But for what we're doing now, I'm not too worried about it. If we get into more detailed stuff, I'll have to uh, improve my meshing quality. All right. But you can definitely see how turbulent it is. Now, I'm going to do one later on with a, with a seat in it, full seat, and see how much more drastic it is. But you can get an idea. You can see the definite loss right here in downforce. So, But that's it for this, guys, uh, this segment. So if you like this video, definitely give me a like. Uh, subscribe so you can keep up with these CFD analysis. Um, if there, Like I said, if there's something you want to see, feel free to comment in the comment section, and I'll try to get something designed up for you as long as it's not super complex because complex parts take a long time in complex simulations so hope you guys like this and enjoy and uh, there'll be more to come thanks